Previously on Plan B Terraform, we were put in charge of the terraforming of Planet Blas after Tusk failed. We started with automated manufacturing, making many of the items required for expansion. We've mined iron, we mined sulfur, we mined aluminium and aluminum, we made mechanical parts and high-tech parts. We mined the ice for water and nitrogen. And Waste Manager JD found a way to ignore waste forever, including turning ex-colonists in food to feed the ever-growing cities. And we polluted. No, no, I mean terraformed the planet and brought the temp up to negative 25, which means I can finally turn off this heater. Oh, g'day mate. Uh, welcome back to Plan B Terraform with me, Jenny. I'm just using the typewriter method or the dot matrix printer method, whichever you prefer, uh, to just update our terraforming just a little bit because I found some um, fluoride right beside some sulfur. So it seemed like a logical update to do. Yes, uh, today's episode. Today's episode, um, well, we need our town, our second town, our, that town, that town to reach a population of 2,000, and now we need to get a total population of 3,000. We also unlocked previously the greenhouse, which we haven't built any of, which requires steel bars and polymer bars. Oh no, we did build some of those. Yes, we did build some of those. Uh, but we just unlocked, or have previously unlocked, uh, no, just unlocked, yes. Uh, tempered steel, which requires steel and nitrogen. Damn elements, which are gonna be pretty important, I think, because the temperature's getting warm up quickly. Uh, also a pumping station, because I assume we're gonna find pumps water from the ground, must be built over humid ground, not submerged in water, green areas in the water view. Water view. Nothing's green yet, but um, I imagine it'll happen quickly. All right, so uh, today's episode, we need to build those buildings. So uh, first one, dam element is reinforced concrete. So I guess the easiest answer for that is just to find a place where we're making reinforced concrete, like technically here. Yeah, we don't care about this town. Uh, we're going to put in uh, you. I would like a dam element, please. What's a dam element? Dam element. Yes, dam element, dam element, dam, dam, dam. Dam! That should fix the problem. Crap, reinforced concrete at this end. Uh, there, 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 and there. Okay. Dam, that should solve the problem. All right, because I think we're going to probably want a dam or two. Uh, the other thing we just unlocked was the pumping station, which needs reinforced concrete and high-tech parts. So we have reinforced concrete. High-tech parts come from aluminium. Uh, where is our closest aluminum? Here. Okay, do we have anything else closer? I need aluminum, sulfur, and iron. That's a lot. I don't want to do a dedicated build. We can just take some reinforced concrete from here, jump it across. Uh... Do I need to upgrade this? That's concrete in, that's concrete in. Concrete in is not really working. Uh, we can probably fix that with a few of those. Uh, and then we'd need to bring in aluminum, which we can just grab from here. Yeah, uh, actually, no, can we do the depots first? Depot, uh, aluminium ore, and... This is only going to be making a couple of machines, so we don't need to go too extreme. Uh, he says. Yeah. I'm still not going to spend a lot of time thinking about things. We're just going to, like, paste in a whole bunch of stuff and it'll work itself out. Uh, we then need factories. Can I get a handful of factories doing aluminium bar? Uh, now we can transport the aluminium here and then make the high tech here. Yeah, I like that idea. I like that idea. All right, so uh, can I make one of those to make pumping stations? That would be ideal, which then needs high-tech parts. We'll put a, well, we'll put a factory here to make polymer, uh, here, here, and here. No, factory there to make the high-tech parts which makes 90 per year. So three of them is definitely overkill. Uh, which then needs the aluminum. 
Yeah. Then needs polymer, which we're going to put a polymer bar there and there, which that will. We'll then do a connecting depot there with polymer bar, polymer bar, polymer bar, polymer bar, uh, which will then need carbon. And then we'll just do a line of carbon and then we'll go to the atmospheric extractors, which I only have 850 of. And we'll just dump those in like so. Yes. Okay. Now the question is to get the aluminum here, roads. Sure. Let's use roads. Uh, it's definitely the lazy way of doing it, uh, but I have no issue being lazy. When, like I said, it's only meant to run a couple of... It's only basically meant to run one one building and to run one machine. Uh, oh, we got trains right there. I got trains right here. Sure. Uh, no, train station right there. And then we come out. Preferably underneath the town so we don't squish it. And then just run that. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, up to, no, up to there. Uh, remove that one. Have the worst loading station ever, pretty much. And destination will be here for our aluminium bars. We're gonna move 180, 180 should be heaps. So that should be everything we need for a pumping station. Is there anything else that needs anything weird like uh, reinforced concrete and polymer? Uh, steel bars and polymer? Well, we're already making those. Uh, reinforced concrete and mechanical parts? No. Uh, concrete high tech parts? No. Uh, and the other ones we're pretty much good on. Okay, so we're good here, I think. Can I? So our limitation here is concrete in. Okay. Oh, that's a tier one. Oh, I see the problem. Uh, that's wrong. Uh, concrete, please. Concrete. Uh, concrete, concrete, concrete. Uh, factory, factory, factory. Depot, depot, depot. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, it's pretty well covered with resources. Uh, but that'll confirm. Sure. And there, 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 there. Oh! Well, well, if you happen to have sulfur right beside fluoride, um, I guess we can make more pollution. I, I, I mean, terraforming gases. Yes, not pollution. Terraforming gases. Uh, okay, so we're going to copy you. That works. And then we'll copy you and just drag this around the back. Sure, that's overkill. Uh, fill this in again. Typewriter method. Just drag the mouse or the screen left to right until, well, there's a lot of miners. And then uh, that tile. Uh, okay, so from here, bring this down in that direction. Uh, remove those ones. And then we'll drag you up in that direction. Give you a shortcut across here. And then we'll put in a whole bunch of extractors here. And the ones up against the rocks we definitely can't get to, but that's okay. We'll eventually mine from the front to the back. Uh, and whoop. Yeah. Okay, that should do. We're just going to use the depots to move materials from one to the other. Uh, they'll meet in the middle somewhere and magic will happen. Uh, that's, that's how new little... Uh, machines are built with magic happening in the middle. All right, uh, fill that in whilst we're here. Sure. Yeah, I think that's the whole tile. Uh, okay, you are making pumping stations. You're gonna make 12 per year. I guess that's enough for now. I don't know how many pumping stations we're gonna need in the long run. Uh, do we have, oh crap. 
Well, there's water. There is liquid. Okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna impede on things real quick. Uh, look, before this area gets flooded, can I just, you know, continue terraforming really quickly? Yeah. And uh, can I put in fluoride? Miners. Okay, and then yeah, let's do roads. Road. Uh, greenhouse gas generator. That one. And then that one. Oh yeah, that's flooding real quick. So the good news is, even if the map floods, uh, it honestly doesn't matter. It just means you can't put a new building in that zone. Uh, an existing building keeps working, even if underwater. Uh, sulfur, I don't know, 50 trucks? Sure. Okay, I'm now getting worried. We might just... Yeah. That's flooding a lot faster than I thought it was going to. A lot faster. But it's only minus 18 degrees. Why is this all this water in its liquid state? Okay, so uh, we made the problem worse before we made it better. Okay, so back to our main town, because that's the one we need to boost the population on. We need to get up to a population of 3,000, and you are currently limited supply. I can see very quickly that we're not getting in food fast enough. Okay, so we set up a food recycling depot. Uh, nope, wrong one. This one. This one is going to take food. Well, it's going to take all the ingredients to recycle food. Uh, but we need to have more compost come in. Now, we do have another way to make compost in a factory, and that is with carbon and nitrogen. So we have nitrogen right here, which in theory, we possibly have an unlimited supply. I don't actually know how much nitrogen we have because um, it comes from our... Our ice station. And considering how much is sitting here, probably we have a lot of the stuff. So we are going to build a second station. So let's go with nitrogen all the way along like this, which needs to have do some jittering uh, to move from one to the other. We then need to have a whole bunch of these guys. Actually, do I want to swap half of this carbon? No. No, we're going to change things up. Okay, so I want you to be nitrogen. Then I'm going to set you to be carbon here, 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 and here. Uh, then we're going to put in these guys, which are going to make compost. Yep. Okay, uh, which means I need to get carbon into this system. So we're going to have a carbon on the end. And actually, we'll have a little line of carbon. Um, this carbon comes from the good old atmospheric extractors. So we'll just build a little line of them and then grab the atmospheric extractors. We'll just build a line of these guys to make sure carbon gets produced. And then it'll just be shipped straight in via the depots. So we don't have to do any, any real logistics for that one. Well, I like it. It's easy. Okay. All right, so that should give us uh, compost. So once we have compost, uh, compost, compost, no, nope, that's carbon. Compost, further down. Okay, after we have compost, it technically needs to go into these tiles. And because I want to prioritize the recycling, I want to drop it off at the edges. I don't want to drop it off halfway through. I really want to drop it off at the edges. So I want to have uh, compost. No, uh, actually compost, 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 compost. All right, so we're going to have another train track, uh, which is going to come right through, uh, well, to there. And then I actually want this train station to be compost, 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 compost. 
I want this train track to be there, and then I want this train track, no, uh, compost, 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 yeah, and I want this train track to be here. And we're going to put in a station here and a station here. Sure, we'll change, we'll move that up as well. Okay, and then we'll bring this out to this line. And we're going to have a station here and a station here. And our idea being, you, ooh, set destination there, compost. Uh, set destination there, compost. So, you go around a circle, and you go around a slightly different circle. God, that's cursed. Uh, okay, delete, delete. Less cursed? No, they're pretty cursed. Why are you coming in this way to turn around and go back around? Okay, hang on. Can I reverse the station? Is that possible? Press the R button. No. You're going up here, you're taking a left hand turn to take a right hand turn to then go around a loop, rather than just going up through and then back out. Whatever. That's going to be your destination, and that's going to be your destination, I guess. And... Actually, delete. Delete. I love deleting resources. Uh, set destination. Nope, that's still cursed. I thought maybe if I could convince him to leave this way, go up, and then turn, and then, yeah, no. Nah, okay, fine. All right, uh, compost and compost. Okay, so hopefully that should bring enough compost in here. We should start making, well, food at a reasonable rate because um, we're not making enough to feed the people. On top of that, we need carbon and water to do pine trees. So I have a crap ton of water right here. And the good news is carbon is really easy to make. So we are going to bring a train track down here. Uh, we're going to put a loop-de-loop -loop on, because I like my loop-de-loops. And then we're going to put in a train stop here. We're going to unload... Uh, actually... Pumping stations. 21. Oh, it looks like it's wet over here. So is it wet enough for me to put in a pumping station? Yes. Okay. Uh, I want storage depots. There we go. Uh, water. Okay. Depot. Carbon. Manufacturers make trees. Uh, make different trees. Okay, and then you need two, three carbon, three water, and annual production of 12. Okay, so then we go with the air extractors. Actually, we might just swap you over to a depot as well. So that way you can actually access this link. And where are we? Uh, air, air extractors. Uh, yep. 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 Sure. Uh, so you need 36. You need three of these guys to produce, to cover one of these guys. I think I got the ratios about right. And you make 30 water. Which means I have far, far, far too many pumps. But that's fine. That's fine. I, I don't really mind. But in theory, we can start producing trees, which I can plant either and everything, everywhere. Now, the very important thing that I should mention is seven. Temperatures are high enough and soil is wet. Check the water view. Trees will, or you plant will grow and spread. Also, we should check the current min-max daily average instead of compared with the tree's characteristics. So we have 
uh, pine trees, which really I can't get the tree statistics. They're written in here. Nope. They're written on the clicking on them. Ah, there we go. Uh, pine trees are an evergreen tree that resists well to cold temperatures. Uh, minimum temperature minus 30. Uh, growth temperature zero. Maximum temperature 20 degrees. Where I am hovering the mouse now is according to the bottom left. Average temperature of minus 14, 15. Uh, minimum of minus 27, which is a little bit cold. And a max of two. Uh, as for the eucalyptus trees, if I hover over one of those, um, no, if I click on one of those, uh, we can see minimum temperature minus 20, growth temperature 3 degrees, maximum temperature uh, 3 degrees. And very, very important. It says these are a common delicious tree, because ask any koala, of course they're delicious. And pine trees are an evergreen tree that resists well to cold temperatures. So we're going to sporadically throw some trees here, there and everywhere. Uh, I'm not too worried about what the temperature stats are. They'll either grow or they won't. It's pretty much the same attitude I have towards my own garden. And New Miami does not look like it's going to... Well, actually, maybe it is going to flood. Hmm. I take parts. I take parts have a... Possibly a loading issue. Let's put a second one of those in there. Also, where are we getting high-tech parts from? This direction. Uh, well, we can definitely afford more trains. So let's double up the amount of trains. At the same time, you require steel bar and polymers. Uh, we have some polymers from looks of that. So let's put in another two of those. And as for steel bars, you'll need a depot there for steel bars. Yes. And if I put you there and there, uh, you can't reach the polymer. Uh, I can put a polymer here. Sure. And then I can put... Hold on. One, two. One, two. Yeah. Uh, one, two. One, two. Yeah. Uh, polymer, polymer, polymer. Hopefully that's enough to get the loading and unloading happening quick enough. Um, otherwise, we might need to redesign this with something that actually works rather than just pretending to work. Uh, I can put a few depots around here, it turns out. Oh, yeah, just connect the left side to the right side. Problem solved. That'll solve the problem for good for a long time. All right, so that should be that happening as well. So we just need to get the population up, which means I need to feed New Miami. New Miami looks like it's being fed. High tech parts, they're covered. And your supply of 166. We're actually going through a lot of high tech parts. Um, oh, that's where your train stop is. That's a bad spot for a train stop. That's a very bad. It would have been better if I put it in one of these tiles. But I guess that works for now. And there's still a bunch of parts here. So let's add yet another train. Uh. Okay, so that looks like it's taking care of itself. Uh, and my greenery has definitely not spread. In fact, you have died off hardcore. Minimum temperature minus 20. What's the minimum? What's the temperature? It is minimum of minus 26. Okay. All right, we'll save the eucalyptus for later. In the meantime, we'll throw some trees here, there, and everywhere. Okay. And do I want to duplicate this? All right, we can see resources stacking up. So let's put in two more of those, three more of those, because I can. Yeah. I want to get trees happening. I want to... It, it, it's definitely time to start actually terraforming. Uh, trees are a big morale boost and a big indication that things are actually working. Uh, that and redesigning high-tech parts, possibly. Probably not. Uh, and is this working? Do you guys have compost? There is definitely food up here. Is there food in the town? All of these are full. That's a good sign. And if we double check this again. Uh, yeah, I don't have any of the organic waste stacking up. So it seems like it's still processing the organic waste first. 
don't get me wrong, there's a lot of compost sitting here waiting to get processed. So maybe we've overdone it. I oh, know we're out of water. Okay. We're transporting 350 water or 380 water. Is the water here? There is water here. Okay, let's add a few more trains. 25, 7, 50 something. And where the hell did that go? Here. My other option is, do I have pumping stations? I do. Where is the closest water to where I am? Not far away. Not close either. Okay. I guess we leave it. Yeah, this area is getting wet. All right. Well, with that happening, and us being up to minus 10 degrees, which means hopefully... Uh, min is still minus 23. In the middle here, we have min of minus 17, which means I should be able to plant some of these guys. We just put a belt around the planet. Uh, none of those areas were wet. Oh well, I hope they stay alive. Because uh, those ones certainly did not. Some poor workers going out here in the middle of a floodplain to plant trees, hoping for the best. Okay, food still working, water still iffy, but there are more trains coming in with water. So that should solve that problem. Compost is through the wazoo and town has plenty of high tech parts. Okay, so town is growing uh, 28,000 and climbing. Voila. All right. Okay. New objective. Re 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 reach a population of 100,000 in your biggest city. And you still want the same materials. Perfect. And you still... Where's the waste output? You still have just metallic waste and organic waste. So all we have to do is sit back and I'll watch the town grow, which is perfect because I want to leave this episode here. I want to leave this episode here on a high note that we've completed our next quest and... We're making trees. In fact, I think I can plant some trees in here. Uh, yep, there's water right there. And actually, temperature, uh, four degrees. That's technically positive. That's like surreal. Uh, six degrees, six degrees. Uh, yeah, I can't plant over here. Oh, I got one there. Okay. It's coming from a flood basin, crater, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's all of those. And we'll take you up to... Oops. Up to here. Oh, that's a lot of fluoride. Oops. Yeah. Indiscriminately planting trees, sort of dangerous. Has a habit of breaking infrastructure. Uh, also, now broke my trees. All right, I'm going to leave this episode here. Like I said, I, we're doing great. We're doing great. New Miami is the goal to concentrate on. We need to get you up to 100,000. Um, as you can see, the population is skyrocketing. Uh, and I'm guessing in 100,000, something else is going to unlock. As there's not anything technological for us to unlock, I'm going to assume that the city is going to change and it's going to need some sort of other requirements. At the same time, we haven't done anything about tempered steel. So I guess that's also going to happen in the next episode. We will have to find some iron, like so, and like so, and attach that to our nitrogen all the way up here, which we still have plenty of because I planned well in advance. Uh, and therefore, we should be able to crank out some tempered steel. Yeah, oh, and we could also do food up here if we really wanted to. And you are still cranking out all those lovely, lovely toxic, toxic gases. I, I mean, uh, terraforming gases, terraforming gases. Yes, yes. Anyway, like I said, we're going to leave this episode here. As always, thank you guys so much, so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.